Let's say that I have two traits called color and rectangle, and both of these traits have a single function called get. For the color trait, the function get will return a string, the name of the color. And for the rectangle, let's say that it determines the position of this rectangle, followed by the dimensions, the width and the height. Now imagine that I have a struct called square which will store the color, the position where this square will be located, and the size of the square. This square will implement the color and the rectangle trait. So now if we initialize a struct called square, we can call the function get to get the color, and call the function get to get the position of the square and the size of this square. For example, let's say that I have a square. Let square equals square with color, let's say red. Top, we'll set this to zero. Left, let's also set this to zero. And size, let's simply set it to 10. Now, if you were to call the function square.get, Rust doesn't know which function it needs to call. Does it want you to call the function get for the rectangle trait, or does it want you to call the function get on the color trait? So how do we tell Rust that maybe we want to call the function get for the rectangle trait? This is where we need to use the fully qualified syntax to call a method on a trait. Let's say that we wanted to get the color. Then over here, you will say color, colon, colon, get, and then pass in square. Here we're passing in a reference to the struct square, since if you look at the function over here, it says that we need to pass in a reference to the type. Okay, so this is how you would get the color of the square. Let's say that color equals. And if you wanted to get the dimension of a rectangle for a square, you'll do something similar. You'll say rectangle dot get and then pass in a reference to the square. The function get will return the position and the dimensions. X, Y for the positions and width and height. Okay, let's print these out. Print ln color is color and print ln X, Y, width, height. Execute the code and we get color is red and the dimensions for the rectangle is 0, 0, 10, and 10. So this was an example of how to use the fully qualified syntax to call a function on a trait when there are multiple traits with the same function name.